Hello there and a happy new year everyone. Gosh, it's been such a long time, but I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas time, even better New Year celebration. And uh, yeah, I guess it's great to be back. Uh, I can't remember when was the last time we uploaded a video, but I thought, hey, it's 2024. Let's try and start bringing back some of those videos. And uh, who knows, let's see how this year goes and hopefully we can bring back the, the regular regular schedule in uh, in this year so the best game to start with of course will be timberborn update 4 and uh yeah let's do a new game i was thinking well we're gonna definitely make a lot of mistakes so why don't we start with folk tales and the map i've never tried well it's been a year since i last played i think it was like uh almost a year ago yeah so uh beaver roam let's try this one i think we're gonna go with the normal mode yeah it's uh, definitely gonna take us some time there's gonna be lots of mistakes. I hope we can get at least a few videos. And I think this series is gonna be more like a mini series of Timberborn as well. The goal is really to try and, you know, get back in the groove, see how everything's changed, what's happened recently. And I know the update five is on uh, experimental, I think. I don't think it's on a live branch just yet. I believe the game is updated already, but uh, essentially, yeah, let's let's try and bring ourselves up to date with the game. I think it's gonna be amazing to hear quite a quite a bit of tips from you guys as well, especially from the ones that have been playing in the pond recently. So, all right, so this settlement, let's call it 2024 Beavers. I had a quick look at this map before as well. Let's just pause the game real quick. It's uh, quite an interesting one. Uh, oh dear, the. Uh, Let's have a look. Key bindings. No, camera tweaker. Let's uh, bring it to... Oh, wow. That's uh, way better. Let's let's leave it at that. Okay, here we go. Now we can see everything. In case you've never played this map, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like a very easy easy one to start with. I probably... Uh, if, if you've never played Timberborn before, I, I don't recommend starting with this one, I guess. Uh, there isn't a lot of land to really grow your crops here or the, or the forest as well, so... Uh, but I, I think we like a bit of a challenge. I mean, uh, it's not the hardest of the sitting, so it will be good to start with loads of lakes over here. So water should not be an issue, but I guess we shall see. I'll be completely honest. I had a quick, uh, I think I spent like 20 minutes on the map just to familiarize myself with controls and everything. So here we go. So the first few things we would like to do, I do have a ton of mods as well, but I'll probably have to put them in the in the description section because otherwise this is going to take a, quite a quite a long time to cover them all. Bit of an in infrastructure. I don't want all those blueberry bushes to overgrow or overtake this place. So yeah, the first most important thing is let's get some logs for our settlement. Okay, here we go. Let's put four builders here as well. Uh, next thing, food is not too bad right now. However, it doesn't hurt to build one just like so. All right, next thing, we should probably start producing some water very soon as well. I'll just place it here, bit of a placeholder right now. And yeah, all those trees are going to go. Here we go. Everything's marked. Lovely. Get to work, beavers. Okay, so looking at this map over here, I'll pause the game real quick, zoomed out so we can get a bit of a holistic view of the area. Now, since we already have all those trees here, I'm thinking everything on the east and south will be more like the forestry area than in the future because the uh, the land is pretty, pretty precious and uh, expensive here. I think we are going to have to build a lot of that stuff on the on the lake or on the side of the lake at least. So the central area over here, that's where we're going to grow our crops. I think uh, firstly some some carrots, potatoes and sunflowers. And then we'll see, we'll probably have to start blocking off some areas. I think this will probably be the best one to block off since the middle lake is providing uh, for our central location. So yeah, we shall do that. Now I hope the things in this game have not changed. So it used to be that the uh, forester is the most important thing to rush for. However, this one requires a seven, what's it say, seven planks. And to have planks, we need a bit of wood and also power. Let's see, we could do... Oh yeah, power station over here. And then build off that one. Well, let's see how it goes. But we definitely need the forester as quick as we can. I would also like this uh, this whole forest to disappear. So we are going to place a slightly closer flag over here. Fortunately, we have quite a few trees up there as well. But we are going to save them for a little bit later. How many logs do we have now? You guys are not getting too full just yet let's build this one as well few construction beavers are a little bit bored it seems so we might just reduce you to two for now or maybe three okay so this should be high priority okay it seems the first day is almost coming to an end i forgot to extend the workday so back 
to work you go. Do we have someone harvesting berries? Oh, yes, we do. Okay, so that's great. Now, the next thing. Um, <laughs> let's pause you. Let's pause you. Here we go. Everyone's got a job now. We're getting this built as well. Logs. Yep, yeah, we got a, quite, a, quite a few. Someone's pumping out water as well, so they shouldn't uh, die of thirst, which is great. We are thinking to expand our roadways and, well, somehow try and go through this area over here. Which seems to be a bit tricky, but we'll, we'll, we'll make it there eventually. We do need science. Yep. 100%. I think we can just place uh, one of the inventor houses or the huts. Just like so. They don't have a house quite yet, so they'll, they'll be unhappy, but I guess it will have to do for the first night. And here we go. We are on day three. We have a inventor's hut ready. The beavers are making their way to start constructing our first water wheel as well to start making some uh, some lumber. I mean, not lumber. The uh, blanks is what we need. And what are you guys doing? You're just sitting here. Let's uh, slow you down a little bit. Okay, so you're full. I see. That's all right. You don't seem to be full. No beavers available. Okay, not a problem as well. Food wise, we are still okay. But we should definitely we'll close you and I'd like to get a farm. Pretty sure we can have one right like so. Now the next thing I think here maybe some storages would be would be nice to have. We'll leave a gap and I think the road is gonna go this way instead. How are we doing here? That's almost done. I don't think we want them to start building those um those dams there just yet. But uh let's unpause you as well. Maybe yeah, a bit of a lower priority. Let's see how this will go. Farm might have to be a slightly high priority. Okay, some people seem to be a little bit unhappy, so why don't we reduce their work hours? Not sure why you're complaining of water. Oh, okay, so you're not producing water quick enough. Here we go. We are producing some power, which is great. How much science do we need? 60. We have 21. Okay. Well... I think we may have to prioritize the production of science a little bit more. And I think all we need is probably about seven planks. Okay, yeah, that's good, but we still need the, the science. How is our fields going? Not too bad. Okay, we'll do the same. We'll start putting down some potatoes here as well. I think we have made our first uh, mistake. I totally forgot that we had enough science points already. Because we have three working in, in mentor huts, but uh, nonetheless, we can do our forester now. And the first one is going to be somewhere around... Yeah, this seems like a lovely little spot here. Right by the water as well, so... Okay, so the maples used to be the best ones. Takes 28 days, it gives us 6 logs. This one gives us 8 in 30 days, so 2 extra days and we get 2 more logs. So I think we have uh, ourselves a winner Okay, now all we have to do is just mark the lands. And that's pretty, pretty good, isn't it? And while you look at that, beavers are a little bit happier. We are on three now. Which, of course, isn't the best, but... um, Yeah, water seems to be a bit scary, I'll be honest. We should have a bit more. I also do want to have three more beavers uh, harvesting some food for us. So what's going on here? Where are all the beavers? Oh yeah, we should maybe start allowing them to create more families. So four houses should be enough. However, I think it was cheaper. Let's see, you take logs. Oh yeah, three of those is going to be 36. That's the, not big of a change, it seems. 12, 20, 35. Do like those big ones, though. But let's see, three more and everyone has a house. This doesn't allow us to start expanding our family so we still have to do at least one more and depending on how quickly we are ready to grow we should maybe do a few more houses around here actually now it seems our food storages are starting to look a little bit better let's send those beavers out from the berry houses don't think we need them here at least for the time being so get to get to work in the farm and i think we had another available workstation elsewhere as well so Oh well, look at that. Our well-being is already 5. I was actually thinking we should try and increase this a little bit further. What can we do? We can probably put one of them over here. 
Okay, there we go. So let's give them a campfire so they can hang out with their family, with their friends. Now, before the drought starts, I think we were supposed to close this area off as well. So we're not going to lose all the water. Almost forgot about it. Okay, so we'll plan this out as well. We are going to need a road from somewhere here. Okay, for the time being, we're just going to leave it in the middle. And what we need to do is we need to grab all this, remove it, destroy it. Make sure it's going to be gone. Give this a high priority as well. Okay, there we go. Right, so the area is now clean. We've got the road in place. And how many of you guys? Oh, only one. Right, so that's going to take a little bit longer. We have three kids, but it's not, a, not enough. So I would like them to expand our beaver baby factory a little bit as well so yeah let's double it we'll put another two houses which um, maybe it's gonna bring us another few babies okay dams being constructed now so that's lovely oh yeah we did build it on this side as well that's gonna be the lowest priority and how much power are we getting 156 so that's not too bad I mean we can eventually close this area off that's all coming from the pool over there and flows into this one and off the map it goes okay here we go so the trout warning has come up we've got two dams already in place third one's halfway through I think we should be fine we should be able to survive this uh, you are a little hungry so why don't you go and grab a quick snack if you, if you don't mind okay Lovely. So we've got a few potatoes, a couple of berries left, some carrots. I think sunflowers are disappearing quite quickly as well. So as soon as everything is built, at the dams I mean, we can increase our farming capabilities as well. This storage house is going to be at the lowest of priorities. Oh, and we do have the campfire built as well. Totally forgot about this one. It seems one of the lodges is now constructed, which is great. And the other one is almost done as well. So yeah, well being is at six. We've got a bit of water, not too much though. And finally, we can remove that annoying tree over there, which means the road can now be rearranged as well. Slightly bit more optimal route. And hold on a second. I think this is maybe the location where we could build our log storage house. Yep, let's do that. Let's get rid of this one here and then we shall do a large pile right over here. Perfect. Oh yeah, and one of the things I did here was that they have improved the uh, how well the game runs now. So it should be much more efficient and less laggy hopefully, but I guess we'll, we'll see. I did try and read through the most recent recent updates at least or devlogs and uh, I mean I don't know if, if you played it recently with some um, large 1000 beaver colonies then let me know how is it running nowadays I think it would have been pretty exciting to uh, maybe even open some of the older colonies what are you doing up here are you still working oh yes he was but yeah if um, with some of the older playthroughs that we had it would have been cool if the game was running a bit smoother because we had some pretty pretty beautiful settlements, I think. Oh, wait a second. I don't think this was going to be the le dam here. Never mind. Let's pause this. Yeah. That was going to be a levy instead, I think. How much? Oh, we have loads of science. Okay, let's do this. 120 points. That's not too bad. We'll destroy you. Hopefully they can still pick it up. Yes, they can. Okay, so there we go. I think that's a pretty good start for our our settlement. We've got our forestry pretty much, pretty much done over here. The only thing we have to do now is don't let those trees grow in the this place, of course. And then, um, yeah, let's just keep expanding this. I do want to have this forestry over here as well. And then maybe eventually... I think one of the mods has made it so our district center has exits and entrances from all four sides. I mean, unless it's the part of the base game now. I'm pretty sure it was a mod though. Now, since we are growing potatoes, we should probably build a grill 
somewhere around here as well. I'm thinking this is quite a lovely corner. There's no goods in stock, so you can be deleted. And let's... Uh, oh, wait a second. Probably don't need to delete you, but all this needs to go. This is because the grill is going to go right here. And then we can do a small storage, I think, somewhere here. And while you look at that, we have some of the grilled potatoes already made and our well-being is now at level 7, which is fantastic. Happy Beavis means more work and more work is uh, is what makes, makes us happy as well. So, uh, perfect. Now, next things we probably need is, uh, let's have a look. We are definitely going to need some platforms. I'd like to take the small ones first. I think eventually we're going to climb up from here. What else do we have? Okay, so mines. <laughs> Got one over here. So that's just to the, uh, uh, what do we have? Like uh, southeast of us. And another mine northwest. Okay. Wellbeing is now up to eight. So that is good as well. Okay, so maybe mines are a little little too optimistic right now since they are submerged as well so that means a lot of logs to dry this place up first of all happy days the drought is finally over this means well it doesn't mean anything the only thing it means we're gonna have some more water now but that's not really been an issue so yeah i think our next expansion plan is gonna be what we said before i like to have some more foresters around this area so as we can see the range of this one comes to about here. Yeah, right about here would be lovely as well. Then we can bring you over through. And I think the road is going to go through this way. Okay, so that's good. I do want to take down this whole forest here as well. Because these trees are not really my favorite ones. So let's plan this in. We're going to have one forest tree there. The reach is to about, okay, let's say one tile from this one. So this means our next forestry most likely somewhere about here. But this is also where we do want to have the road. Now, now the question is, can they run through the the town center over here from this door? Would they, would they be running out from here? Let's test this. If we place a road here, what happens? Is anyone going to enter through this door or not i guess we'll we'll have to observe for a little bit but essentially yeah that's the area where we shall have another forest uh, i guess somewhere here will be fine as well yep so not a big rush just yet let's get most of it done and uh, i think we can be quite happy with the progress so far i do want to have what did we say before a small tank okay so that's gonna go over here and then another beaver pumping water, just like so. Food section, let's bring the UI back. I mean, 126 is not the best. We could probably do with another another beaver working for us. And I'm thinking in the future, we should do another farm somewhere about here as well. One farm isn't enough over here. We're going to place another one not too far from it. And uh, once we got the streets down, I am uh, hoping that we can start putting down some more uh, some more things for us to grow and let's see how deep is this water maybe it's too deep but we might be able to do some water plants as well who knows anyways if we don't need those blueberries that can probably go as well let's turn them into wheat or oh what shall we see <laughs> potatoes oh yeah that's pretty much it isn't it yeah wheat and potatoes will expand that Lots more potatoes, another couple of grills as well, and uh, yeah, that should keep our food going. Science is pretty good as well, 761 right now. So yeah, after this, I'd like to ramp up our power and also science production. Let's do a few more of those water wheels in strategic locations like here, there, and the other connection points as well. And uh, yeah, let's see where we can take this. So I think this episode has been uh, not too bad quite surprised about it actually but anyways let me know if there's anything else we've uh we've missed or any big changes that's happened recently more than happy to learn from you guys so uh thank you so much in advance already and i'll see you in the next one